Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this video, we will finish the panel that we are creating and I will publish it to Firebase Hosting so that you can check it out from the link that is given in the description of this video. Now our task here is to send the message with title and body to the selected users. And for this, I am going to use the legacy server protocols. Now if it sounds confusing then it basically means an older version. So for FCM server we have legacy HTTP and HTTP v1. But as we are using plain JavaScript for our panel we cannot use HTTP v1. But remember using HTTP v1 is recommended over legacy HTTP. But let's learn the legacy HTTP first. Okay. Enough for the talking guys now let's write some real code. And don't worry, we will learn the HTTP v1 as well in coming videos. So come back to our project and here what we need to do is when the button send is clicked, we need to send the notification to the selected users. Now first we will attach a click listener. So just after this db thing, I will create a click function btn and what is the id id is btn hyphen send then i will attach a click function now here first we will get the input value so we need the recipients title and the body so let's get the recipients first and it is inside users then we have title then body then after getting all the values we will create an ajax request so let's write ajax it takes a json object and the first thing that we define here is the type of the request. So we need to send an HTTP POST request. Then we need to define the URL and we can get the URL from here. The legacy URL is this. Then we define the authorization headers. So we will define headers and inside headers we will define authorization and it is key equals to our api key and you will get your api key in your firebase project you need to go to cloud messaging and from here we need to copy this legacy server key so copy it go to your code and paste after key equals to so we have our authorization headers now we need to define content type and it is application slash json then we have data type which is json then we need to define the data that we want to send with the request and we will use json dot stringify method to stringify the json object so inside the json object first we will define all the registration ids where we need to send the notification and we have the registration IDs inside this two variable. Then we have notification and for the notification we have title as title and body as body. So we have these two variables title and body here. Now we need a success callback and it takes a function and inside function we will get the response and from response we can get the number of devices that received the notification successfully so we will display it in an alert so send to concatenate with response dot success and then devices Then we need an error callback 
and here we will display that some error occurred so we have our ajax call ready now it should work so let's test if it is working or not so let's test and i'm using my real device here so let's select both the users and put some title hey how are you normal greetings or whatever you want to write then click on send oops first we need to refresh okay and if sometime it loads from the cache so to hard refresh you can press ctrl f5 select both the users click on send and you can see send to two devices and here in my mobile phone or smartphone you can see we have a notification so it is working absolutely fine so that's all for this video friends i hope you found it helpful if you did then please support me by liking and sharing this video for any query you can leave your comments in the comment section below thanks everyone this is bilal khan signing off